Good morning. Of course, it may not be morning there. Good morning. We uh, we wrapped up all of our boat work here in Kariaku, and it is time to show up off. So picking up from the last video, the all of the boat work that we did, uh, we came back to a boat that was in pretty good shape, no mold, no bugs. Um, so good. all of the I'm still chasing a, a random ant here and there, but no, we were not no, infested. no <laughs> massive bug infestation, no mold infestation. So everything was good. No leaks. Uh, the only thing that wasn't so good is the yard did not do the work. So we that None they were supposed it. to any of it. None of it. Uh, so we had a very busy one week. We hired some local help thanks to those guys and we were able to splash in half the time that we had planned even with the yard dropping the ball. So Lunacy looks great. She is ready and we are heading north today for a how many mile? 405 Four. miles north to our mooring ball in St. Thomas because it's time to get back to work. Yay. Actually, we're pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. So our weather forecast is fairly light. Um, looks really calm, but we're going to try to head out up here on a Sunday and arrive by Tuesday or Wednesday. And then Thursday, there may be some stuff moving in down south. So we're going to just try to catch that little window before things pick up and be safe and sound in St. Thomas on the morning ball. It's time to put up these bean bags and take down our shade and make sure hatches are actually securely closed this time. Close the port lights. All of them. All the openings. Close them thoroughly. Don't, don't, Lock them. Don't fake dog them. Fully dog them. And then we're off. We almost never feel like we're in any real danger while at passage. However, not being able to communicate with friends and loved ones is sometimes a concern. With our new Garmin Mini in reach, that will never be a problem. All right, now for that most magical time on every sail. on the beam, seven knots actually. Clean bottoms, baby, clean bottoms. Might need a new flag. So even on a small island, we're passing behind Union right now. Wind shadows are a real deal. So we're in the wind shadow now. So we started the port engine and we are just motoring through the shadow. When you get behind some of the bigger islands, like uh, Dominica especially, that wind shadow can be felt 15 miles away from it. So when you get behind these bigger islands, taller islands, there's definitely doldrums that you have to uh, motor through or you have to tack way downwind to stay in good wind and then make your way back up. So since we just got started and we're kind of in line with heading straight to Saba basically, uh, we're just going to motor on through. All right, so we have a couple of options. Uh, we can, one, sail straight to Saba. That would be a pretty good wind angle, wind right on the beam, or we can stay closer to the islands. So instead of using the autopilot on track mode, we currently have the autopilot set. I don't know if you can see it up here. It's set in wind vane mode. So it is currently set to keep the wind 63 degrees to the starboard side. So that is the tack that we're heading up. Uh, it looks like we would wind up hitting, almost splitting the gap between Dominica and Martinique. 
So uh, basically, if you see the waypoints, that was going to be our last trek on the way down. That's how close we wanted to stay, but we were not able to do that. We basically made almost that straight line down. So should the forecast hold and the wind stay that we are, we are basically going to make a big arc all the way up to Saba and then downwind to the USVI. show you some islands while we can still see them. A few more hours, we won't see islands for a couple days. Jordan, uh, getting some water from the ditch bag. We forgot to pack our ditch bag. What's a ditch bag? The bag of crap that will save our lives if we have to bail off of the So we can have water, um, a sunshade, a light, be in reach. Tracking some money. Is money? Passports. Passports. Uh, Maybe some snacks. Uh, a lot of people throw bars and things in there, and that's what we've always done. But then we learned that that actually can dehydrate you, so it's not good for you. Uh, so, water. Water, water everywhere. Maybe bananas. All right, so that is the first shift down. We do three shifts, uh, three four-hour shifts each day. It's about a three and a half, half day passage. So that was my first of nine or 10 shifts. And it was picture perfect. We have 12 knots on the beam, roughly, just forward of the beam. Uh, we're sailing at about 60 degrees. Uh, I don't know if that's off the wind, into the wind wind's coming from that direction but anyway we are making five and a half six and a half knots so we're making pretty good time seas are super comfortable right now i would say they're probably as forecast which was like two feet uh four second intervals which is about as flat as it ever gets here so good times uh we did on our on the first shift we did see a school of dolphins which was pretty exciting uh we had one fish on, but it got off before we landed it. And other than that, things are going smoothly. Knock on wood, baby. Nine more shifts to go. if a giant shark would have eaten it. Wind shadows are a real deal. We are still eight miles from St. Vincent. And what's going on? What how much groundage covered in your shift? I think we're going fast. I think we might be. <laughs> yeah it looks Looks like the wind dropped to five knots, speed dropped to three knots. Uh, it's like a lake. It's like we're sailing in a pond. It's crazy calm today. So. so it's either start the engine and run the engine for a couple hours to get out from behind it. Uh, but once we're out from behind the island, we're definitely going to fall off further west and get further away from the islands. We won't make this mistake three times because we already did it twice. about 4 30 a.m. and the first overnight is almost done. It is dead calm. We're just motoring and um, everything is going well. So we just have to keep chugging along. 
So five hours, six hours, we've been motoring. Dead calm. You don't get to see this very often. To conserve fuel, we alternate engines on about a four hour shift. We're able to make about five and a half knots on one engine, assuming no current or wind. So we have been kind of in the doldrums for 12 hours, been motoring. The wind's been about three knots. The seas have been like this morning were crazy flat. Now they're still flat but a little ripply so we decided to take kill the engines stop motor sailing so a little <laughs> little cool down today it's so hot and this water is the prettiest blue I've ever seen we have big giant slow moving dolphins over here like are they whales are they dolphins what's happening after we just caught the second mahi of the trip. Look at this water. About oh, 6,000 feet of blue. Look at that. So many creatures this trip. This We're motoring. But we're, that means we get to see everything. Like we actually get to see the whales come up and they're not hidden by the massive pounding waves that we went through last time. like a mom and a baby because we're seeing First time we've actually seen the Caribbean forecast be wrong in the opposite direction. Normally they say 10 knots and you get 20. This time they said 10 knots and you get nothing. We've been motoring for, I don't know, 20 hours, something like that. So sometime in the middle of the night, the winds are supposed to pick up a little bit. So maybe we can finish this, uh, finish this trip off with a little sailing. It started with sailing. Hopefully we can end it with some. We are 44 hours 
into the trip. So it is 4 a.m. on Tuesday. And we are right at two thirds of the way through. So we've got 24 more hours and we should be in St. Thomas. It's still dead calm. We're still motoring, um, but it's beautiful and the winds are picking up. So hopefully we can start sailing back again today, hopefully. Sargassum mahi. Man, is it that big? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well. It hasn't been terrible. It's been super light. It's a uh, lot of motoring. We had one good day of sailing. We have a full moon. Nice. Sorry, I got distracted. Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> so we had a we had a full day of sailing, a full day of motoring, and like dead crazy calm. And then, well, you just watch the video. So we know Back and forth. Yeah. Back and, then, and forth, yeah. sailing and motoring. Day of sailing, day of motoring, and a day of motor sailing. And we should be there in the Whales morning. Whales and mahi and dolphins and swimming. It's been a pretty fantastic passage. I shouldn't say that with 100 miles to go. So Not far, good. it's been really great. And um, I think we did a better job going north than we did going south. For sure. just started the last shift of this passage. It's 4 a.m. and there is a big giant full moon above me and I can see the lights of St. Thomas and St. John in the distance um, and some lightning further away. <laughs> um, and we are almost there. Good thing we have two engines.
as we learned on the passage to Grenada, engine access back here while being good can only be done in calm seas. Good thing we've had days of that. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.